Hello and welcome to my lair. This is where all the creative stuff happens in this space here. Grania Canal has sent me some questions to answer. As if I haven't got enough work on already, Grania. But I'll, okay, on, in this instance, I will help you with your unkeynote. So here we go. First question, what is your personal digital learning environment and how do you use it? Well, I use a lot of different tools. I use Twitter, I use my blogger account, I use WordPress, I use various other tools like YouTube and Flickr. I use a flip cam which I'm using at the moment. I use a variety of different tools to actually help me to um, to connect with people that I really want to connect with around the world. People like you listening in today perhaps. Um, question number two, what are the main obstacles for building and maintaining a personal digital learning environment? Well, firstly, ignorance. Uh, the fact that people often don't know what power and potential there is to these tools you know the the ability to um to connect to discuss to amplify content all of these are quite quite important and if people don't know about them then they're not going to to use them and the other thing that i find is really difficult about um people using twitter is they don't persist long enough they don't stay the course and therefore they don't ever realize the the potential uh, the critical mass if you like which they need to have if they're going to get onto twitter and use it properly so persistence and um and, and learning i think are the two most important things there to actually remember these are barriers um ignorance and lack of um persistence question three how has your use of technologies changed in the last five years radically it's changed uh, a lot because five years ago if you think about it we didn't really have a lot of the tools that we've got now we didn't um, really know much about you know twitter we didn't know much about facebook we didn't know much about tagging um or about sharing videos or, f or, or flicker images um that's changed incredibly i think and uh, for me personally it's paid huge dividends because um I've managed to build up quite a considerable kind of network of people that I rely on and, and who um, uh, follow what I'm doing as well. So I think that's really important that in five years things have radically changed. And finally, question number four, what are your views on the PLE versus VLE debate? Now, this is where I start to get really animated because as some of you know, I've been involved in lots of different debates uh, over the years with, with, with this, you know, the idea that VLE and the PLE are opposed. Actually, I don't think there is so much a binary. Uh, I've been role-playing a lot, trying to play the devil's advocate, trying to get people discussing this, but I think there's more of a kind of a spectrum between the institutional VLE and the personal learning environment. I think, though, that um, the VLE, if it has any weaknesses, uh, one of them is the homogenization and the ring fencing of content. The idea that um, universities and colleges and schools want to protect their content and only allow it to be open to, to people that, um, that, that are bona fide. And also the idea that uh, one size fits all, which patently is not true. This is why a lot of students vote with their feet and go off and um, they, they use, they use uh, the VLE when they, when they have to. And they use Facebook and other tools when they want to. And that's, I think, the main difference. But there are loads of other differences as well, which we won't go into now because we haven't got time. I hope that's fine, Gronya. Um, hope you have a great un keynote. And I hope everyone enjoys themselves in Aviado and Melbourne. Uh, God bless you all.